through time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, yet to fail all the same. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny still arrives. And the brother Ron brought out mighty in the spirit. We gonna keep rolling on with him, man. All right. So let me get, let me get uh, Amo seven and fifteen. Let me get Matthew twenty four and eleven. Right. Let me get that uh, Matthew uh, Matthew twenty four eleven. And you get that in uh, Amo seven fifteen. Right. I want that Matthew first. Right. So we only out here for our people, you so proud of blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Hey, come here to work, sister. Hey, you got two minutes for God? All right, read what you got. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 11. And many false prophets, and many what? And many false prophets, this is that devil on the corner. And many false prophets, got that devil across the street. And many false prophets, for the Lord said, many false prophets, right? You know? So in these last days, you got all these false prophets, right? Going up against the true words of God. These damn devils don't know what's going on. They don't know the words of God, right? How is the wickedest people on the planet Earth go trying to teach us how to be righteous, right? And you can't teach us a damn thing, man. The only thing you can teach us is how to be murderers. The only thing you can teach us is how to be rapists. The only thing you can teach us is how to be pedophiles. Right? We don't want to hear a damn thing that come out the white man's mouth, man. You know? And shall deceive many. Shall do what? And shall deceive many. This is their pale face bastard doing. Shall deceive many. And you deceiving many, man. Right? You damn devil coming out here trying to deceive our people, man. But the Lord gonna expose your wicked ass. Right. Read that again from the top. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 11. And many false prophets shall rise. Shall rise. And shall deceive many. Shall do what? And shall deceive many. Right, and shall deceive many, man. Right? It don't profit you to come out here with that Bible. You don't know a damn thing about the Bible, man. You might as well go back home and take a hit of that crack pipe. Right? This ain't got nothing to do with you, man. Salvation is only for the Israelites, the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You know? Verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, because what? And because iniquity shall abound. And the Lord said when the so-called white man came into power, evils increased upon the face of the earth. Right? That's why this world has to be destroyed, man. Right? This world is being ran by his wicked ass people. Right? You know? The love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure to the end, but he that shall do what? But he that shall endure to the end. Hey, all praises to the Most High, man. That the Lord woke us up and brought us to this truth. Hey, Lord willing, we get the spirit to endure to the end. Right? Hey, cause we want, we, hey, we want, we want uh, blessings. I want, a, I want a blessing. Right? I want the Lord to allow me to have the privilege to have this damn devil in captivity. Right? And I want this damn devil in my cotton field, man. Right? 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 All these damn devils, man. Hey, they think it's a damn game. They think we come out here for damn games. Right? But when that time comes, we're going to be hunting their ass down. Right? You know? The same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom is what? And this gospel of the kingdom. According to Isaiah 61, this gospel is for the brokenhearted. 
Right? This gospel is for those that want it. And y'all beautiful sisters got a minute for the of God. Do y'all love God? Y'all love God? All right, y'all got to repent. Put on modest appeal, all right? Put some clothes on, all right? All right, sister, put some clothes on, all right, sister? And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached. Hey, and if these simple-ass niggas don't repent, they're going to get put to death. Right. We ain't out here playing games with these simple-ass niggas. Right. Repent, come back to the commandments, or your ass going to be destroyed. Clown-ass niggas, man. And we ain't got time to be playing games. We're not playing games with these heathens. We're not playing games with these wicked-ass niggas. Read that. Shall be preached in all the world for a witness. For a what? For a witness. And this is a witness, man. We are here to preach the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah for the nation of Israel, man. Right? Let me get uh, First Maccabees 3 and 21. Let me get First Maccabees 3 and 21. And read what you got. The book of Amos, chapter 7, verse 14. Verse 15. Verse 15. And the Lord took me as I followed the flock. And the Lord said unto me, Go, prophesy. I'll do what? Go, prophesy. I'll do what? Go, prophesy. Unto my people. Unto what? Unto my people. Unto all people. Unto my people. This guy devil said to all people. Unto my people. And the Lord said, Go and preach the word unto my people, man. The Lord not dealing with all nations. That's right. And we're going to run these false prophets out these bad streets, man. And y'all brothers got a minute for the words of God. Do y'all love God? All right, man. Y'all got to repeat keep the commandments, all right? Read on. My people, Israel. Uh, everybody. Israel. Everybody. Eat them up. Israel. 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 The Lord said, go and preach the word unto my people, Israel, man. That's right. Our people are the only ones that need preaching. Right. Our people are the only ones that need the gospel, uh -huh. right? These damn devils not going through no trials and tribulations. No. These damn devils not living in the ghettos of the projects. No. These damn devils not getting shot down by the police. These damn devils ain't got to worry about gang banging. No. They ain't got to worry about the white man putting drugs in your community. No. Right? Hey, no. hey, you got a minute for the words of God, brother? Word, brother. What's going on, brother? brother? You love all brothers? All right, man, you got to repent, keep the commandments, all right? All right, this ain't no damn game. You keep playing, you're going to be destroyed. Repent, That's keep right. the commandments, right? right? So people think this is a damn game out here, man. Do you think the Lord was playing games with those people that got killed in Turkey? Uh -huh. You think the Lord was playing games with those people that got shot down in California? Uh -huh. Keep thinking this is a damn game out here, man. Right? right? And we, we get prepared for real. Right. We get prepared for the day when the streets gonna be filled with blood and right. guts. Right. right? The streets of America finna be filled with dead corpses. Right. And everybody think this is a damn game. Yeah. Let me get uh, that in First Maccabees uh, three and twenty one. Let me get First Maccabees two and ten. And do y'all beautiful sisters got a minute for the words of God? Do y'all love God? We we'll come here the words of God, then sister. Two minutes, sister. Come on, sister. All right, now y'all Israelites. All right, y'all gotta repent, keep the commandments. All right. Yeah, come on now. Read that. This the book of First Maccabees chapter three, verse twenty one. But we fight for our lives. We do what? But we fight for our lives. Right. And our love. And our what? And our love. And our what? And our love. We fight for our laws that was only given to the nation of Israel. Right? right? That damn devil, he coming out here talking about, yeah, he coming out here talking about, well, well, it, it, it's for the word, for, for everybody that, that call on the name of Jesus. He came and died for all our sins. Right? He don't even know what sin means. He don't even know who the world is talking about. Right. I asked that damn devil, I said, what does the world mean? He said, every nation. Right? That don't make no damn sense, man. Right? That don't make no damn sense, man. Right? The word world in the, in the Greek means cosmos, which means a government, like the brother was brought out. And that government is only talking about the government of Israel. Right. Do y'all got a minute for the words of God? Do y'all love God? All right, sister, y'all got to repent, all right? Keep the commandments, right? Hey, you trying to warn our people, man, That's right? right? Hey, come up, King. Read that again from the top. This is the book of First Maccabees, chapter 3, verse 21. Yeah. But we fight for our lives and our laws. Wherefore, the Lord himself will overthrow them. He will do what? Will overthrow them. He will do what? Will overthrow them. What do to that damn devil? Overthrow them. What do to these damn Edomite? Overthrow them. The Lord, our God, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, go overthrow all these other nations, man. Right? So make that make sense. 
How is God coming back to save everybody when the Lord go overthrow our enemies? That's right. Make that make sense. Right. These heathens do not know the scriptures. Nope. These heathens do not know the Bible. Bring it out. All throughout the Bible, the Most High God fought for the nation of Israel, man. Right. And that's why these damn devils got to be destroyed, man. Look at this, look at this profaneness, man. Right? That don't make no, hey, brother, what's going on, brother? You love God, brother? You got a minute for the words of God, brother? All right, but you got to repent, all right? You got to repent, separate from your person. Read that again, King. Bring it out, Verse 20, verse 22. Wherefore the Lord himself will overthrow them. Before our face, before what? Before our face, before what? Before our face, before what? Before our face. The Lord our God go overthrow these enemies before our face, man. Then the Lord overthrow the Egyptians. Then the Lord overthrow the Canaanites. Right. Then the Lord overthrow the Babylonians, uh. the Assyrians. Right. So the Lord gonna overthrow all these wicked nations, man. That continue to oppress the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Right. You know. And as for you, be, be ye not afraid of them. Be what? Be ye not afraid of them. And the Lord said, be ye not afraid of them, man. We ain't afraid of these big ass bastards, man. Right? These damn devils coming over here acting like they're about that business, man. Right? You better stop playing with the nation of Israel, man. You better stop playing with our God, man. The Lord gave, the Lord gave us the power to overthrow our enemies, man. Right? We ain't like these weak ass Christians, right? We got the spirit of Nehemiah. We got the spirit of Joshua. That's we got the spirit of the Methodists. We're going to lay your ass down out here on these streets. Stop playing games with me, man. What right? the hell we look like, man? Right? We just like our Lord and Savior, man. Right? <laughs> hey, that's the spirit of the Lord. Look at it. Look at it. Right? All praise to your Allah, God, sing your Allah, shout. The Lord is bringing death and destruction to this wicked ass nation. You know? Now. Hey, you better bag back. Hey, you better bag back. Hey, you better bag back. Read that part again. Verse 22. Wherefore the Lord himself will, will, will overthrow them. Do what? Will overthrow them. Don't you know the Lord is going to overthrow you? Don't you know the Lord is going to put your ass to death? Don't you know the Lord is going to put you in the cotton field? Right? We don't. Before our face. For our what? Before our face. You pray that the Lord put your ass to death right now, man. And you pray as soon as you walk away and you cross the street, your ass get hit by a damn car, man. Right. You want to see your brains, your blood, and your butt splattered on the damn concrete, man. Right. Read on. And as for you, be ye not afraid of them. These damn devils think we afraid of them, man. We not a... Hey, y'all beautiful sisters, do y'all love God? Do y'all sisters love God? Y'all love God? Hey, you gotta repent, put that body some pills, sister. Hey, sister, put some clothes on, sister. Cover your ass up, sister. Right? Yeah, cover your ass up, sister. Hey, get, get out the street, you down there. We ain't dealing with you. Verse 23. Now as soon as he had left us speaking, he leapt suddenly upon them. He did what? He leapt suddenly upon them. Right, that shit on that. Can't read what you got. First Maccabee. The book of 1st Maccabees, chapter 2, verse, verse 10. What nation hath not had a part in her kingdom? Read that again from the top. What nation? Well, what? What, what, nation? Nation? what? What? What nation? What? What? What nation? The Lord said, what nation? You think they were still going to get away with hundreds of years of rape, robbing, and murder? Right. right? Hey, sister, hey, you need to uh, set forth from your enemy, all right? All right. Get out, sister. No, she's not your friend. She the damn devil according to the Bible. Right? <laughs> that don't make no damn sense, man. All people hate each other, but they want to hold hand in hand with their persons. Right? Read that again from the top. What nation hath not had a part in her kingdom? The Lord said, what nation have not had a part in her kingdom? Every single last nation upon the face of the earth had the children of Israel in captivity. Right. Any damn devils think that the Lord is coming back to save everybody, uh -huh. right? Don't you know you have to pay for your crimes? That's right. Don't you know you have to pay for your actions? Don't you know you have to pay for all the wickedness that your forefathers put Bring upon the face of the earth, right? This damn devil think he gonna get away with hanging us from trees. Wow. This damn devil think he gonna get away with uh, feeding our children to alligators, wow. with raping our women, right? Giving us smallpox. 
spilling our red, That's spilling right. our language, That's right. spilling our heritage. Right. And you're not gonna get away with that, man. Precept. Right? Hey, like I said, we're gonna pray that the rules strike their ass down tonight, man. Right? The part of your heart have deceived you, man. Right? right? The part of your heart thinking that 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 we just some simple Negroes, man. That we some stepping and fetching ass diggers, man. We don't want to hear a damn thing that the so-called white man got to say, man. Right? We don't. The book of Revelation, chapter uh, 13, verse 10. He that Start at verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity. Hey, how y'all doing? Hey, what's y'all ethnicity? Y'all Hispanic, y'all got to repeat the command. He that leadeth into captivity shall... Shall go into captivity. We got to get from the top. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Hey, bad it to me. Hey, bad it to me. Hey, listen to this. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity. What did the so-called white man do to us? He that leadeth into captivity. What did they do to the so-called African Americans? He that leadeth into captivity. What did they do to the so-called Haitian? He that leadeth into captivity. I'm about to ask it. He that leadeth into captivity. I'm about to tell you no Indy. He that leadeth into captivity. And the Lord said, He that leads a nation of people in the captivity shall what? Shall go into captivity. Now they get salvation. Shall go into captivity. They're gonna be grafted into the king. Shall go into captivity. They're gonna be grafted into the covenant. Shall go into captivity. And the Lord said, Your wicked pale face, wrinkly ass gotta go into captivity. That's right. Right, we don't. He that killeth with the sword. Right. What did Christopher Columbus do to our people? He that killeth with the sword. Right. Must be killed with the sword. Must be what? Must, Must be, be killed, killed with the sword. Must be what? Must be killed with the sword. Hey, the Lord said your wicked ass people must be killed with the sword, man. Right? Ready. Hey, look at these listen. You got all type of spirits out here on these trees, man. Hey, but you gotta repent, brother. Put your shirt on. The Lord said we can't see your nakedness, man. Put your shirt on, brother. <laughs> yeah, we don't need to see that, man. Our people had a lower state, man. Right? That was it on that? All right, read on. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. That's what we patiently waiting on, man. And we patiently waiting to hunt down these damn devils, man. I'm patiently waiting to have a damn chain on this neck, man. I'm patiently waiting to tie his ass up to a damn tree and whip his damn back with a damn whip that got barbed wire on it, man. Right? And, and we're gonna have we gonna have some special gruesome and bloody punishments for these damn bastards, man. Right? Now go back to that. Go back to that in Maccabees. Maccabees uh two and ten. Right? Go back to that in Maccabees two and ten, man. Right? Right, let me get Psalm 50 and 16, man. Right? The words of God is not for these damn nations, man. Right? Yeah, read, read, read what you got in Maccabees. The book of Maccabees, chapter 2, verse 10. What nation hath not had a part in her kingdom and hath gotten of her spoil? Have what? And have gotten of her spoil. All throughout time, all these other nations have gotten of the spoils of the children of Israel. Right? Right? So this damn devil's not going to get away with that, man. These damn devils not gonna get away with the acts of Alexander the Greek, right? right? These damn devils not gonna get away with the acts of uh, of their Christopher Columbus, right? Of their Nan Cortez, right? Of the Spaniards, the French, the Dutch, the British, the English. These people have to pay for their crimes. We had to pay for the crimes of our forefathers. I wasn't around during the time of Moses, right? I didn't make the golden calf, right? I didn't make. I, I wasn't there during those times, man. But we still had to suffer yeah. for the things that our forefathers did, man. Right. So what the hell make you think that you don't have to suffer for the acts of your forefathers, right? right? These people are trying to run away from their judgment, right? But you can't run away from the most high, man, no, right. right? So let me get, uh, what was you still in, uh, uh, yeah, that's it, that's it on that. Read what you got, King. Let me get uh, Lamentations 5 and 7. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 15, verse 6, 
Uh, 50 and 16. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 50, verse 16. But unto the wicked, but unto the what? But unto the wicked, what is it so called right now? But unto the wicked, what is that damn devil? But unto the wicked, God say it. What hast thou do to declare my statute? What did the Lord say? What hast thou to do to declare my statute? The Lord said, What hast thou to do to declare my statute, man? How the hell is the most wickedest people upon the face of the earth going to try to claim that we wicked? How the most how the most racist people upon the face of the earth will try to claim that we racist? Right. right? These damn devils always want to play the victim. Right? How is the criminal always want to play the role of the victim? Right? right? We see what happened in the in the Peyton Gidget case. Who was a murderer that killed Nine to ten of our people. Right. And drop dead, damn devil. And we hope you get lung cancer, right? <laughs> right? So this country protects murderers. Right? According to the Bible, if you shed man's blood, your blood has to be shed. Right. If you take a man's life, then your life has to be taken. Right. But in this country, you can kill ten people and you can still have your uh, life. You can still have the privilege to breathe. Right? This place is fitted for destruction, man. Right? You got all type of wickedness and evil happening in this country, man. Right? So the Lord said, what has thou to do to declare my statutes? These damn devils don't know nothing about being righteous. Right? Yeah, that brother bugging out. <laughs> and this is why we gotta come out here and save our people. We gotta come out here and give our people the good news. Right? We gotta come out here and battle these spirits. Cause our people are at a lower state. Our people are, are broken. Right? Our people are hurt. And the only thing that's gonna heal our people is the words of, of the Lord, man. Right? So read that again from the top king. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 50, verse 16. But unto the wicked, God say it. And how y'all doing, family? Do y'all love God? Y'all got a minute for the words of God, brother? Okay, all praise, brother. All right, y'all sister love God. Y'all got a time. Y'all got a minute for the words of the Lord. All right, now y'all y'all got to repent, keep the commandments. All right, read that again. This is the book of Psalms, chapter fifty, verse sixteen. But unto the wicked, God saith, What has thou to do to declare my statutes? The Lord said, What has thou to do to declare my statutes, man? Right. The laws and commandments of this Bible is not for these other nations. That's right. Right? It's not in their spirit to keep God's commandments. Nope. The Lord said, if a man lay with mankind, he shall surely be put to death. Bring it up. But the so-called white man is the ruler of this country. And what type of laws do the so-called white man push? Homosexuality, gay pride, LGBTQ, right? A man can, can marry another man, right? A man can have sexual relations with another man. A man can, to, can uh, get a, a woman's body parts implanted in him, and he can give birth to a damn baby, right? Wait, wait, I mean, this this is this is madness, man, right? This place must and will be destroyed according to the Bible, right? You know, or that thou shouldn't take my covenant. Shall do what? And that thou shouldn't take my covenant. Wait, what are you just trying to do? Or that thou shouldn't take my covenant. These damn devils trying to take our covenant. They try. They keep trying to include their sins and our salvation, right? Why we not included? Why we not included in their kingdom? This is the so-called white man's kingdom, and we still think this of a human being, right? But they want to be rulers in our kingdom. They stole our land, they stole our language, they stole our ethnicity, they stole our heritage, and now they want to steal our salvation. Now they want to steal our covenants. Right? Now they want to steal, they, they want to steal everything they, that they can take from us, man. Right? Hey, drop, hey, drop there, Becky. All right? Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth, seeing that thou Hate is instruction. What is the so-called white man hate? Seeing that thou hate is instruction. What is this damn devil hate? Seeing that thou hate is instruction. Hey, the Lord said these damn devils hate instruction, man. Hey, hey, yo. Hey, I hope you get hit by a damn car, all right? Yeah, that's right. All right. 
Megaphone on hey, your hey, go in the street and do the mannequin challenge, all right? <laughs> Get hit by a damn car tonight, man. You don't know what's going on, man. <laughs> right? Hey, Quentin, stop yeah, that. Yeah, that don't make no damn sense, man. These people finished, man. We <laughs> don't. Hey, cast is my word behind thee. What? Hey, cast is my word behind thee. That's exactly what they did. They cast the words of the Lord behind them. We try to break it down step by step, right? We showed them who salvation was for. We showed them who Christ died for. But they don't want to receive this information, right? They want to continue to, to go off their own philosophies. They want to continue to go off their own doctrines, right? <laughs> we got to get the camera. I mean, this is, this, is, this is ridiculous, man, right? Our people are destroyed, man. That's a damn shame. Right? That was it on that, King. Read what you got, King. Five and seven. The book of Lamentations, chapter five, verse seven. Our fathers have sinned. What the, uh, Jeremiah say? Our fathers have sinned. This is in the book of Lamentations. The prophet Jeremiah said, our fathers have sinned, right? Our fathers are the ones that broke God's commandments. And what did the Lord do to us for breaking his commandments? We don't. Our fathers have sinned and are not. And are what? And are not. And are not. That means they're not here no more. Right? We don't. And we have done their iniquity. We have their right? And we have done their iniquity. Jeremiah said our fathers have sinned and are not. But we have borne their iniquities. So we still have to pay for the sins of our forefathers, right? But for some reason, these damn devils think they're going to get away with it. For some reason, they think they can spill the blood of millions of so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and they can still live lives. They can still get the kingdom of heaven, right? But they have no understanding, man, right? Right? That's why the Lord gonna have to destroy these damn devils, right? For speaking, for speaking profane words against the children of Israel, right? That was it on that king. You know, servants, servants have ruled over us. What did Jeremiah say? Servants have ruled over us. That's why we have to come back and repent and keep the commandments. Hey, sister, do you love God, sister? You said, all day, you got two minutes for his word, sister? All right, sister. You got to separate from your enemy, all right, sister? You got to keep the commandments and put on body support, all right? And this is why we had a lower state. Our people profess that they know God. we yeah, drop these damn devil. Our people, our people profess that they know God, but they don't want to keep his words, man. Right? I said, sister, do you love God? She said, all day. But she walking hand in hand with the same people that hate God. What does righteousness have to, to, to dwell with unrighteousness? Right? right? How, how is the holy going to dwell with the wicked? If you love God, why are you walking hand in hand with the same people that hate God? Right? right? If you love God, why are you doing the things that's contrary to the laws of God? Yeah. Right? You have to make it make sense, man. Our people are all taught. Let me get Matthew 15 and, uh, and, uh, 15 and uh, verse 7. The book of Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. O what? O daughter of Edom. So like I said, now is the time for these damn devils to rejoice and be glad. Rejoice. Why are they out here trying to preach our Bible? That's a waste of damn time. You waste your time when you come out here and preach a word that doesn't belong to you. Trying to teach salvation that don't belong to you. Right. These damn devils might as well just go home and, and smoke crack. Yep. Right. They already do. Right? They might as well go home and, and continue to sniff coke. Heads. Continue to be a pedophile. Continue to be a rapist. Because right. you're going to be destroyed anyway. That's right. You know? Rejoice and be glad. Oh, daughter of Edom. What are these damn dogs? Oh, daughter of Edom. What are they? Oh, daughter of Edom. What are these damn devils? Oh, daughter of Edom. Oh, daughter of Edom, right? Bethany, right? Mary Kate and Ashley, right? Read on. That dwellest in the land of Ruth. 
be a what? Dwellers in the land of Uz. Dwellers in the land of Uz, man. Right? They come from the cliffs of the rocks. That original caveman. Right, that right. original Neanderthal. Right? We don't. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. What? Shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. Shall do what? Make thyself naked. These damn devils that made themselves naked, man. Right. But we went to pull the skirt up on these damn devils right. and expose them to the whole world, man. Now the whole world know that y'all the most wicked, profane, disgusting, foul people upon the face of the earth. Yeah.